What about the little 500? Uh, never have done the little 500 before. I, I uh, assume you didn't, but, yeah. But this is my first year. I actually qualified my little 500 car before coming to the Hoosier 100 and uh, put it in the center of the front row. So, so uh, we okay. will be running the Hoosier 100 tonight. We'll uh -huh. run the uh, the Silver Crown cars at IRP uh, on Saturday uh, morning, and then uh -huh. we'll hustle over for my first little 500 that night. And you're in the middle of the front row as a rookie. As a rookie. That's Which, correct. The same exact position as Jerry Coons last year. Yep, that sounds good. I, I mean, I haven't had a lot of time to invest in a little 500 thing, you know. Uh, I'm running for the Speed Chasers team there that I run for with the wing 64 on. car, yeah, okay. and uh, those guys are great. I mean, the my primary deal is racing Silver Crown Series and running for that championship. And those guys are willing to give me a chance to run the little 500 um, really with no strings attached. I'm able to come here and really focus on the Silver Crown first. And we're going to run the little 500 for fun. And uh, turns out we're having a good time so far. So, okay, so you've got to get on the highway and head north up to Anderson in a... In a Big hurry after yeah, the Silver Crown yeah. race is done then. Yep. Have you got a fast driver to drive uh, you? I hope so. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> or will it be you? Uh, hopefully it won't be me. I'll probably be able to rest during uh, take, during Yeah, take time. a rest and That'd be a lot of laughs that day, yeah. Yeah, it would, it would make sense to have a chauffeur rather than you do the driving. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be quite an experience. Your, first, your very first Little 500. Is, it, is that race a little bit intimidating because of how physically grueling? And yeah, no, it definitely is. Um, but it's nice to be able to do it in a situation uh, with the such a you know, team that's allowing me to, to come in and try it my first time without having a whole bunch of expectations. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing how we do and uh, hopefully put on a good show. Any prediction on how you think you'll do tonight? Who's your 100 or Saturday? Or uh, no, I'm, not, I'm not very good at predicting. I'm just thankful to, uh, to be racing. Uh, got, got a good qualifying run in here through your 100 and uh, we'll see where we are at the end of 100 miles. And are you racing anywhere tomorrow night? Friday? Uh, between the two with, with the double on, on Saturday, we're going to take tomorrow night off. That's a rest day because uh, of the two races that you're doing on yeah, Saturday. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably be in bed probably about 5 o'clock tomorrow night. But anything up? There's other races on Sunday, Monday? Or, uh, are you so doing? I might be running Sunday at Eldora with the NRA, and you never know. You might see us with the World of Outlaws at Lawrenceburg on Monday. So. That's, I was going to mention that one. We're, yeah. we're just doing, uh, I mean, the, the Silver Crown or the first two, and, and everything after that is just kind of great. So we'll, uh, we'll get our races in and see how it goes. Excellent. Thank you, Cody. All right. Thanks, Rich.